What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby walkthrough right here. So, I'm doing this pretty quickly right now because uh, this all depends on the timing right here. Now, today in this episode, we're going to be capturing the three legendary beasts or the three legendary dogs. Now, what you need is... You need both Lugia and, uh, well, you need both Lugia and Ho-Oh on your team. Off screen, I did, I did, uh, trade my, uh, well, I did train for, trade for a Lugia. So as you can see, the trackless forest right here opens up. So now, we're gonna be going in here and, uh, we're gonna be capturing one of the first two of the legendary beasts right here. Now, this all depends on the timing. It is 1038 right now. And as you can probably tell, Cold air like the north wind sweeps over the area. That could be somebody right there. That is Suicune. And, well, we're going to be uh, saving this right here just in case. And, well, let's go right ahead and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and press that button right there. Now, as you can hear, it is the Suicune show right now. And uh, from what it looks like... Suicune is uh, looking all mean and everything. So, we're gonna try and capture Suicune. And uh, this will, uh, like, after this one, it actually enables us to actually go to for the next Pokemon right here. So, I'll explain. Uh, I'll ex well, I'm, I'm out of words right now because, you know, I'm trying to capture this guy. But the way you get to the Legendary Beast, it all depends with uh, how you go within the hour. Now, Suicune, of course, we're going with Suicune first. Uh, let's see, between the hours of, uh, let's see, 40 to, well, 40 to 0 minutes, you'll be able to find Suicune right here. Now, I am, uh, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure after this one, we're gonna be able to find, uh, we're gonna be able to find the next Pokemon. Now, we already have Entei on our, on our, uh, on our whatchamacallit Pokedex, because we actually used them, uh, to actually get to the, what was it, to Reshram and, uh, Zekrom? Yeah. So let's go right ahead, use a body slam, try and capture this guy. Hopefully this guy doesn't faint. There we go. Okay. If you guys may remember in Pokemon Crystal, this guy has been a tough one to actually capture. You guys can hear the theme song right here. It's pretty hilarious how they went back to the original theme. And, well, Sweetie looks like it's ready to be captured right here. And luckily for us, we actually uh, equipped ourselves with some timer balls. So let's go right ahead. Use a timer ball, please. Let's go. Okay, come on. One. And there you go. Suicune is just, uh, he's just trying to hurt us with something. And as you probably already noticed, it does have Mirror Coat. Any special attacks right there will get doubled and hurt, and it will hurt you pretty badly. Two. And good God, nearly got him. Uh, Jeebus, come on. Yeah, this guy is going for, uh, this guy's going for some pretty sweet attacks right here. But look at me. I'm going to be using another timer ball. Let's go. Come on. Damn it. Suicune, don't be, like, come on. Just don't be messed up. You got to be our Pokemon. You have to be our Pokemon. It is your destiny. Of course, Suicune is probably the only uh, legendary that I, I've actually nicknamed. Aside from the ones in the uh, Liquid Crystal right there. So, of course, as you can see, this guy is no longer protected by the mist. He is trying his hardest not to stay with us. So, there we go. Come on. And, oh my god, Suicune, come on. Don't be like that, man. I don't want to hurt you. And here we go. Timer ball. Let's go. Come on. Stand the ball. Stand the friggin' ball, man. Yeah, this guy is not, he is not agreeing with me. But, of course... It stays paralyzed, which is good. So let's go right ahead and use another timer ball right here. There we go. And of course, Suicune not agreeing with me. Uh, and then here comes its Aurora Beam, of course. So let's go again. Let's get this. Another timer ball. Come on. Stay in the ball. Damn it, come on! Yeah, I probably should hit it one more time, or I probably should just teach one of my Pokemon to Paul Swipe just to just to make it easier for me. Cause this is looking like a, a mission right here. Come on. Come on. Come on! Yes! Alrighty, so there it is, guys. We caught ourselves. Suicune. 
Sorry about being loud, guys, but this is freaking awesome right here. Alrighty. Look at this. Look at this. Suicune, the Aurora Pokemon. Water type Pokemon. It is six feet. Seven ounces, I guess. I've been reading this all wrong. 412 pounds of pure awesomeness right here. Suicune embodies the compassion of pure spring water. It runs across the land with gracefulness. This Pokemon has the power to purify dirty water. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So it has been nick- or it's not gonna get a nickname right here. So there it is guys. We caught ourselves Suicune. So let's see what happens right now if I get out and then go back in. Because this all the like these Pokemon are made available to you within the hour. Uh, it just depends. Um, again, you guys gotta have you guys gotta have Ent or you gotta have Ho-Oh and Lugia on your team in order for uh, in order to open this place right here. So we're going back in here, and uh, what happens next? Nothing. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait uh yeah we're gonna have to wait a while in order to get the neck the next Pokemon right here so let me just explain to you guys how this all works since I was a, in a yeah I was in a rush to get to the next Pokemon right here so when soaring in the sky if you have Lugia or Ho-Oh in your team the new area will open up this area can only be accessed uh, when one of the Pokemon is on your team this area is located east of Rustboro City and is a, is a small force. In there, you will find a portal which which Raikou, Entei, or Suicune are in. For Raikou, Raikou or Raikou, whatever you like to say, the time needs to be between 00, 0 and 20 minutes past the hour. For Entei, the time needs to be 20 minutes to 40 minutes past the hour. And for Suicune, it needs to be 40 to 0 minutes past the hour. So. Yeah, I pretty much I was yeah well I was pretty much in uh, within the hour right there. So I'm going to have to wait until the next yeah I'm gonna have to wait until the next hour starts. So I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna heal my Pokemon, do my thing, and uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm just gonna heal Pokemon and all that stuff and uh, adjust uh, everything. Watch this football game here too, because you know that's how it is how it is. <laughs> I'm just making small talk, guys. I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so I had to wait a few minutes, but uh, let's see if we are able to find the next legendary beast right here. And so we're going to be landing down in the trackless uh, path right here, I think that's what it's called. And here we are, trackless forest. And you feel an intense gaze, almost electrifying into your body. Now, here's a little something that I realized about my game right here and the current clock that I have on my computer. Game is two minutes ahead, that's why I kind of missed out on a few Pokemon right here, so... Yeah, that's why I thought that I was going to get Entei first rather than Suicune, so... Point taken right here, so let's go right ahead and find ourselves Raikou or Raikou, however you guys like to call it. I like to call it Raikou for some strange freaking reason, so... Whatever. Let's do this. Are my Pokemon healed? I don't know. Let's find out. Yes, they are healed. And I again, I just realized that, yeah, you can actually... Uh, you don't actually need Lugia in this, too. You just need one Pokemon. So, here it is. The second of the three legendary beasts. Or the legendary dogs, as many of you guys like to call it. And it is Raikou slash Raikou. However I like to call it. The electric-type Pokemon right here. And this guy, yeah. He's looking all fast and everything. And as always, we're going to keep on paralyzing everybody, and it doesn't affect them? Oh, crap, Baskets. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we can't paralyze this guy. Huh. Okay, so let's go to Tank right here, and hopefully this guy does not make this guy faint. So here we go, Tank. Do us a favor. Get him. And here comes a Spark Attack. And Spark Attack. No, it doesn't do much to us. So let's see what this Body Slam can do. Please, 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 please have this guy paralyzed. If you can't paralyze him with Thunder Wave, then you got to Body Slam him. And there we go. And uh, no paralysis. So now I can't even hit him one more time. Well, I, I can hit him one more time, but it's going to have to be a flying type attack. And uh, yeah, par paralysis is going to be something different. So let's go right ahead and get hit with the Thunder Fang. 
not uh, not so effective since you know Fluff Blade is a uh, what you might call it Pokemon, a Dragon type Pokemon right here. And oh god, here comes that Spark Attack, and it's paralyzed us. Something that we need on this guy. Come on, Aerial Ace, don't make him faint. Yes, okay. I'm gonna test my luck. Let's do it one more time since it's not super effective against this guy right here. Come on, Fluff Blade. Good God, okay, come on. You can't keep on getting paralyzed every single time. Here comes a Spark Attack. And here we go with an Aerial Ace. And yes, he, he is down to one. So now, we're gonna try and capture this guy without paralysis, or paralysis and all that stuff. So come on, Timer Balls. Please, please help us. And that is a big no for this guy right here. And, yeah, he's going to be coming out with a Reflect. No, you could have came out with that first, you know that? Jeez. Okay, so here we go. Timer Ball, do us a favor. Come on, one. Damn it. Yeah, this Raikou is not coming... He's not coming too easily with us. And he's going to keep on hurting us until we faint. And so, let's go with the Timer Ball right here. Come on. Stay in there. One. Damn it. Yeah, somehow, somewhat, we need a, we need a, per, uh, we need paralysis on this guy. Could have, uh, you know, I could have used uh, Sir Razor on this. Could have. So here we go, timer ball. Damn it! Nothing. Okay, so this guy is, uh, he's not having it right now, and he's just gonna destroy us. It's okay. Fluffly did its job. So now, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we should just uh, use tank because we should tank it, probably. And, uh, well, let's see. Alright. Gonna continue using some uh, timer balls right here. Come on. Come on. Stay in there. Damn it. Okay, so this guy's not. Yeah, he's not. Uh... Yeah, he, he's not agreeing with us right here. So he's gonna be using crunch. Reflect has worn off, so. No biggie. We're just gonna use timer balls until we capture this guy. This guy is not gonna. Well, yeah, he, he's not gonna go down easily like like right now. And of course, here comes another reflect attack. Why must you do this to me? Come on, let's go. Timer ball, let's go. Come on, baby, stay in the ball. One, two. Come on. Damn it! Nearly got him. Okay. So it's giving me a little hope that, you know, we're actually using a... Well, that we don't necessarily need to paralyze him so many times. And... One. Damn it! Okay. Alright, so he's being mean right now. So, let's go ahead and take this Thunder Fang. And continue throwing Pokeballs at this guy. Hopefully, he stays in there or something like that. I don't know. You could have thrown a Quick Ball at him, since it is a quick Pokemon and all that. And another reflect does not work, so here we go again. Timer ball, let's go. Come on. One. Damn it! Okay. Yeah, this Pokemon. Yeah, he, he he's gonna be the toughest one out of uh out of all of them, just because he's the electric type Pokemon right here. So here we go with a timer ball again. Let's get it. Come on, homeboy. You know you wanna be with us. And oh wow, another spark. Come on, don't be like that. You know you want to be, uh, you know you want to join your buddy Suiku with a, with a uh, valuable trainer like me. You know that? One. Damn it! This guy's just like filling up my hopes right here. Oh god, you suck. And there goes Tank off a critical hit. So let's go right ahead and go to Sage of the Halo. Won't be a. Any of these attacks won't affect me as much. It's just gotta get him. Come on. Let's go, Timer Ball. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the friggin' ball. Stay in the ball. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Woo! Look at that, guys. We cut ourselves Raikou Raikou. Oh, man. Oh, man. I feel so good about that. Okay, so look at that. Hydra grows to level 76, and all my Pokemon are mooching off them. And uh, look at that. Another Pokemon to the collection. Raikou, Raikou. The electric type Pokemon. Thunder Pokemon. Six feet, three ounces, 392 pounds of uh, electricity right here. Raikou embodies the speed of lightning. The roar of this uh, Pokemon sends shockwaves shuddering through the air and shake the ground as, a, as if lightning bolts had come crashing down. It's 
pretty good description of this Pokemon right here. And no, I'm not going to nickname this guy. And he is going to be going into the proper box right here. So now, what's going on right here is, on my timer, it's 11.06. But if we look closely right here to my save, it is actually it's actually 11.07. Uh, so what's going to happen right here, guys, is I'm actually going to have to wait. Uh, I'm going to have to actually wait for 13 more minutes in order to get Entei. So, uh, again, excuse the whole thing right here. I will be back in... 13, 14, 13, 12, 12 more minutes. I'll see you guys in a little bit. And a blazing strong presence is in the air. So, yes. Okay. So we are in business right here. And yeah, there's the portal to the other place. We're going to save just in case uh, we screw up again. We got 20 minutes. So we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. So let's go ahead. The mysterious ring is floating in the air. Something is visible in the, in the hole. Would you like to put your hand deep in the hole? Giggity, yes, I do. Alrighty, so here it is. The next of the legendary beasts, Entei. Regular form and all that stuff. It is the Fire-type Pokemon. Pretty much the mascot for, like, Johto if, you know, you're going off, like, the, the other movie and all that stuff. So here's Entei, using his pressure, just like uh, his, uh, his uh, you know, his buddies. He's going to try and just use defensive moves and trying to make you faint and all that stuff. But what we're going to do is we're going to paralyze him because we can now. And yeah. And yes, he cannot move. He is a water uh, or he is a uh, fire type Pokemon. So we do not want to mess with that right there. So let's go back to Tank and hopefully Tank can actually not make this Pokemon faint and just like, you know, help us out and all that stuff. So here we go, Tank. Let's get this. And here comes a flamethrower. Oh, yeah, look at that. Flamethrower. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use a body slam. Let's try and lower his uh, his HP just a little. Hopefully there's no critical hit on this one. And it's almost it's almost like it's uh, it's like asking me to hit it one more time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna switch to Fluff Blade right here. That way I can use Aerial Ace. Because if I use one more, I, I have this kind of thing, if I use one more Body Slam, it's gonna get a critical hit, and then next thing you know, he faints, and I'm, you know, SOL again. So, let's go right ahead and get a Burnt, and that will lower our attack just a little bit. So, now, let's go ahead and, uh, let's see. Let's go with the Aerial Ace right here. Aerial Ace does its trick. Doesn't take so much, but here comes a Stomp Attack. And all right, we're getting burnt right here. So let's go right again with another aerial ace attack. Trying to lower its HP and still going with a stomp. Same process right here. So again, we're getting burnt. All right, come on, Fluff Blade, do me the favors and just put it to the red. Damn. Okay. And that's a stomp attack. And here comes a. Oh yeah, here comes a, a burn. So, that is not looking good. You know what, I'm gonna hit it one more time. Again, I'm, I'm like, I'm, you know, superstitious. I'm kind of superstitious about this, because, you know, if it gets healed, it's gonna go back to regular attack, and then, you know, it's probably gonna take a little bit more, so it's probably okay that it's fainting right now. So, let's go ahead and let's tank it with Hydra right here now. Alrighty. Okay, alright Hydra, you don't like me and I don't like you. But we need to capture these legendary Pokemon because, uh, you know, we got a collection to uphold right here. So let's go with the timer ball. Come on, baby. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball, stay in the ball. One. And you suck. Okay, alrighty, let's see how it is. But you're paralyzed, you can't do, you can't do squat right here. So here we go again, a timer ball. Come on, stay in the ball. And it will not do anything like that. So again, it's gonna keep on well it's gonna get it's gonna keep on getting paralyzed right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, do this. Another timer ball. Come on. Come on, stay in there. Stay in there! Come on! Oh my god, I almost got it. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> These Pokemon are really driving me insane right now. So let's go right ahead and use another Timer Ball. Let's go. Come on. Stay in there. One, two, 
Three. Stay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so he, he he's really really messing with me right now. We're really close to capturing this Pokemon, but he's not letting me. So here we go. Come on. One, two, three. Stay, stay. Yes. Whew. Okay, so uh, that is how you capture the three legendary beasts. Good gravy. And it literally took us a full hour just to just to get these guys in. Well, Tank is learning Giga Impact. Let's see what this says. Uh, the user. Okay, so let's see. Heavy Slam. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna teach it that. I got another tank in the another tank in the tank. So there we go. And everybody else is growing level Sage as well. And well, we caught Entei. We don't have any. Well, it's not going to its information since we already got one. So let's go right ahead and take a look at its Pokedex entry since you know we kind of made the mistake of uh, trading a, a a stronger one for this one. So. We're gonna have to go all the way up, all the way up right here. Okay, so here we are in the Johto decks, and here's Entei. So as you can see, Entei, the volcano Pokemon, it is a fire type Pokemon, 6 feet, 11 inches, 436 pounds of pure blazing volcanoes coming out of his ass, and well... Ante embodies the passion of magma. This Pokemon is thought to have been born in an eruption of a volcano. It sends up massive bursts of fire that utterly consume all they touch. That is some pretty awesome stuff. Now, let's go right ahead and use more. Let's go with the appearance. Let's go with its regular form right here. Look at that. Its regular form looking all majestic as you know what. Okay, so that is pretty much it right there guys for capturing the three legendary beasts of Johto. It's not that hard and again, you only need the uh, the legendary bird that you capture in your version. You only need one. Uh oh or Lugia in whichever game you play. I made the mistake of trading the other one but you know what, it's okay to it's never too bad to actually, you, you know, um, fill up the Pokedex and all that stuff. So, in the next episode, I will be... Well, I'll try and capture some more Pokemon along the way. Do not know. I am saving the three uh, Pokemon of uh, Hoenn. Uh, Red, the Regis. The three Regis plus Reggie Gigas as my last Pokemon to capture. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.